In the frigid depths of a Russian winter, a moment of spiritual fervor unfolded as President Vladimir Putin plunged into the icy waters of Lake Seliga to commemorate the Orthodox Epiphany. This annual ritual, steeped in tradition, symbolizes the baptism of Jesus Christ in the River Jordan, a moment of profound significance for Orthodox Christians worldwide. On that day in January 2018, with temperatures hovering around 6 degrees below zero, Putin, clad in a heavy sheepskin coat, stripped down to his bathing trunks and immersed himself in the frigid lake, embodying a blend of political theater and religious devotion. As he emerged from the water, the spectacle was broadcast across the nation, reinforcing his image as a leader who embraces Russian Orthodox traditions. This act, however, was not merely a display of faith. It was a calculated move to resonate with a populace increasingly disillusioned with the government. Russia has degenerated into nothing more than a feudal country that's ruled with bayonets, clubs, and crosses. The spectacle drew attention not only for its audacity, but also for the stark contrast it presented against the backdrop of Putin's controversial political legacy. Today, Putin is the new Tsar. What else can you call someone who's been in power for almost 20 years? The ritual has been celebrated annually in Russia, often attracting both believers and non-believers who view the act as a test of endurance and a connection to cultural traditions. A good Russian, a religious Russian, is faithful to his roots, his country, and the system in which he lives. We want to bring back these values and need someone to lead the way. And that's Vladimir Putin. In this video, we shall go deeper into President Putin's baptism and faith, the connection to black Jesus, and what it means for the world's faith. Get ready for an in-depth exploration of the world of Vladimir Putin. The recent unveiling of a painting depicting Jesus as a black man has sparked a global conversation about race, identity, and the historical misrepresentation of biblical figures. This revelation, tied to a series of exhibitions in Russia showcasing religious icons, challenges the Eurocentric depictions of Christ that have dominated Western art for centuries. The portrayal of a black Jesus not only invites a re-evaluation of historical narratives, but also serves as a powerful symbol for marginalized communities seeking representation and validation in a world often dominated by white narratives. The juxtaposition of Putin's icy baptism and the emergence of black Jesus invites a deeper reflection on the intersection of faith, identity, and power. <laughs> While Putin's plunge into the sub-zero waters was a reaffirmation of his connection to Orthodox Christianity, the Black Jesus narrative confronts the long-standing racial biases embedded in religious iconography. It raises questions about who gets to define divinity and how cultural contexts shape our understanding of spiritual figures. In a discussion surrounding the Black Jesus painting, some people emphasized the importance of authenticity in representation. They argued that the portrayal of Jesus as a black man aligns with biblical descriptions, challenging centuries of artistic tradition that favored a white European image. Russian icons by Father Vladimir Ivanov. I hope I didn't butcher that name, but um, this is a book that is highly coveted by different circles it, because it has the black icons. It has the um, history of black people in places like Russia, in uh, Italy, in places all over Europe. This book has a lot of um, interesting depictions in it. A lot of them pertaining to the, to the Bible. Like right here, this is the Transfiguration of Christ. 
see it's, it's black people in caves, I believe, what it looks like. It's black people on the whole picture, but this is um, knowledge that escapes black people here in America. Um, it's definitely something that we would never see or never hear about in the educational system. Now, I'm pretty sure there's people that are um, black history um, college students majoring in black history or world history, and they've never seen nothing like this before. At least not from the standpoint of Europe, you know. This movement toward inclusivity in religious art parallels the Russian Orthodox Church's efforts to reclaim its cultural heritage under Putin's administration, suggesting a complex relationship between faith, politics, and identity. Putin's baptism, a ritual steeped in the symbolism of purification and renewal, contrasts sharply with the narrative of Black Jesus, which seeks to redefine and reclaim identity in a post-colonial context. Both events reflect the ongoing struggles within their respective cultures, one grappling with the weight of historical legacy and the other navigating the complexities of modern governance and spirituality. As the world continues to grapple with issues of race, identity and representation, the icy waters of Lake Seliga and the rich hues of Black Jesus serve as poignant reminders of the diverse narratives that shape our understanding of faith and humanity. President Vladimir Putin is an interesting man to keep an eye on. Please share your thoughts on this topic in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to stay updated on our captivating stories. See you in the next video.